Okay, welcome to round six of our Risk Global Domination game. I intended to just uh, record a couple of rounds of this for, for demo purposes, but I find myself having the time of my life here playing this. So we're going to continue. Player one is the blue team, currently holds all of South America. Uh, one, two, three, four. So only three reinforcements plus the South America bonus of two. So that's five reinforcements. Try to pluck five infantrymen out of this tub. There's a, there's a couple. Four. The blue team is in a pretty good position. Uh, does the blue team have any cards to turn in? No, not, not a matching set. So no more reinforcements for them this round. Um, so... Obviously, we're going to put a reinforcement in Venezuela, one in Brazil. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put another one in Brazil, another in Venezuela. And I think, uh, I think it's time to take North Africa's, or uh, Team Six's bonus away from them, uh, if possible. So, but uh, we're going to do a start with a three versus two match up here with uh, Central America. The yellow team is in trouble. Uh, only holds five hold it, five territories at this time. They, uh, they've moved into the western United States, but I have a feeling that's about to be challenged. So here we go. No treaties, uh, no alliances this round. It's total war. So, Alright, here we go. So, that's a disastrous campaign. For, uh, the, for the blue team. Lost two units. Um, probably don't want to... No, I think we could probably risk another assault. We'll do it again. Hopefully this time we'll have more luck. Three on two. A four against a two. And a two against a one. Now... Uh, there we go. Now we're talking. So, Venezuela takes Central America. We'll draw a card. To remember to draw it. Not sure I'm done yet. Um, now, the blue team has encroached upon the uh, uh, North America. Um, should I risk an assault on North Africa? Through this uh, shipping line here. Uh, we have the resources. Why don't we try a three on two and see what happens? Okay. So we got a six against a five. And we've got a six against a four. We discard the two. So, yeah, North Africa loses two units. Okay. And, uh... Should I try it again? Should I press my luck? Yeah, things are really ramping up now. Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to try to take North Africa. Player one means business. Okay, I don't think it's going to go so well this time. Nope. Player one loses two units. North Africa holds fast. That did not pay off. Uh, could try again. But I think instead, we're going to make that the end of the turn. We're going to move a couple of troops up into Venezuela. Uh, actually, I think we're going to move all the way up into Central America like so. And that's the end of the turn. So, took a territory, gained a card. And let's see what that's going to... It's an infantry. So we've got... Oh, man. That's a that's no help at all. So no extra resources for the blue team next turn. Now it's the red team's turn. The red team, of course, was betrayed by the yellow team in the previous round. Uh, was this round five or six, or is this round five or six? Gosh, I can't remember. Probably pause and just go back and watch the video to to ascertain that. So uh, let's count the red team's holdings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
8, 9, 10, 11. They do not get the next tier bonus, so they'll get three. Uh, do they have any cards to turn in for? No. So only three additional troops. And the battle is hot in North America. But I struggle to find infantry pieces. There's one. Okay, now, allocation is key. I need to reinforce Greenland. Probably won't attack Iceland. But we need to reinforce the eastern U.S. and Alberta. Uh, gosh. Where to attack? Who's weak? Gray team is weak right here. We're going to start over here. I'm going to try to claim some territory here. So two on two. Uh, I can't say the name of either of these territories. Kamchatka versus Yakutsk. Okay. See what happens. Five versus a four. A three versus a three, so one loss apiece. Okay. Now we'll go two versus one. If we can afford to do that, and we'll try to eliminate the gray team from a, or at least northern Asia. Okay. Worked. Three is higher than two. So we move two of these guys in here. And that's territory. It's the twelfth territory now for the red team. And what else? Shall we uh, risk a three versus two on China? It's the name of the game. Oh, no. Six versus four. And then four versus one. So one loss apiece. Okay. Should we do it again? This time we should go two on one. That's going to spread out the... Uh, well, then we'll get some extra troops in the next turn. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Two on one. Ooh. So. Didn't work. China holds fast. With the yellow team. Okay. I think the red team now may make some attacks here on uh, the yellow team. Uh, probably not a smart move since the blue team goes first. I think we're going to leave the yellow team alone over there. I think the red team's done. Picked up two territories, but the forces are spread very, very thin. So, red team draws a card. It is infantry, and that's not a match. It is the yellow team's turn. The yellow team is in serious trouble with uh, only four territories in their possession, and they only get three reinforcements, which is a paltry number this late in the game. I mean, with as many rounds under their belt. So, obviously we need to reinforce China. We may need to concede the Western U.S. and just try to hold this strip, Siberia, China, and Siam. Uh, the assault is coming from Australia, for certain, uh, from the green team. Mm. I think the best course of action might be to uh, just try to hold China. It's not incredibly strategic, but uh, are we going to do any attacks? Uh, I don't think Yellow Team is in any position to do any attacking this round, guys. So we're going to move on to the Green Team. Let's count their territories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. They do not get the uh, extra bonus, so that's three troops plus holding Australia is two additional troops, so that's five troops. And at this stage, they could start to make mischief in Europe. Uh, in fact, they're going to have to tighten up their defenses in Europe uh, because uh, Team Six is on the expansion, is on the is on the war path here down in, in Africa. So one, two, three. There's five units. They only have one card. They can't cash that in. All right. So Australia is well defended enough. No one's taking that anytime soon. Let's beef up Europe. Let's defend Iceland. Let's defend Great Britain. Let's defend. Northern Europe. Uh, Ukraine is already in good shape. Scandinavia does not need any troops at this time. So. Uh, um, gosh, we better beef up Afghanistan, though, and perhaps the Ural Mountains. Uh, Afghanistan, at least, because the Grey Team has very little to lose by attacking at this point. So I don't know whether that's going to happen or not. I don't know if the green team is going to attack. Uh, they almost hold Europe. Hmm. And they've got a nice defense over here in Asia. But they've got to push back Team 6 in Africa. Three versus two. Great Britain versus Southern Europe or Western Europe. This is risky, but that is the name of this game. Uh, six versus six, so that's one loss to the attackers. Five versus two, so that's one loss each. I think I'm done there. Uh, yeah, that didn't pay off. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and allocate some, I'm going to move some troops. No, I'm not, because i got to defend Ukraine against the Middle East. Okay. Middle East is actually rather strong at the moment, so that's where the attack will come from. So the green, unless... No, nope. the green is going to make their final stand in Australia. No questions asked. Okay, so I'm not going to move any of those troops. Okay, so player four is finished now. The gray team, player five, only gets three infantry. Yeah, that was quick. Okay. And they are limited at this point to the Middle East and India. So, one. Two. Three. I'm not sure they should be attacking anyone. I mean, I mean who's, who could they... Uh, there's, there's no weakness here. They're just going to try to hold those two lands. They're done. Okay, so and so finally, Team 6, who, uh, let's count their holdings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, entire of Africa, 7, 8. So they get 3 units plus the bonus for holding Africa, so 6 units in total. That's good news for them. That, that's going to allow them to make, take some risks. Wait a minute. Nope, I don't have a matching set. Try to turn in some cards here. Okay. I do believe I said six units. Now we're getting to the point where I'm going to have to start swapping out a lot of these infantry for cavalry and um, artillery as more and more of these pieces get put on the, the board. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, so there were some losses in North Africa. We have to uh, reinforce that immediately. We have some losses in Egypt. We got to reinforce there. I'm gonna go ahead and reinforce Western Europe and Southern Europe. And I want to go ahead and where's the bigger threat? I think Brazil is the bigger threat. So we're gonna reinforce. North Africa, are we going to attack? 
dare we attack anyone? No, I don't think so. I'm starting to feel the battle lines are being drawn, like the borders are being drawn here on this map. And we're just going to have to start ramping up the uh, the uh, defenses. So that ends this round, and I've forgotten which round it is, a little early. Uh, so not a lot of territories won in this round, and certainly no uh, big cash outs, big payouts. Nobody's getting eight troops. Uh, until uh, we turn in some more cards. So I think we'll pause here and uh, we'll pick it up in whatever the next round's going to be. Okay, thanks for watching, pals.